what I would like to do is progress on the hangman game. And what I want to do is when I go to hangman, when I guess a letter such as E, I want it to say that I guess a letter E and the old letters. When I add another letter such as A to it, I now have guessed E and I've guessed A and so forth. And I wanted to keep track of all the letters that I guess as well as the current guess. And that's almost all that I need to do. And then I finally get to actually run the script that is going to check to see if the hangman should go to the next picture, go to the game over picture, or display the correct letter. So let's get this working first. So what I want to do is I introduce something called a hidden field. And let me just talk about what a hidden field looks like in HTML. Uh, and I'll put it right here. What a hidden field does is it's HTML, it's input, type is equal hidden, and we give it a name, and I could call it uh, old letters, and I would give it a value such as E, A, O, L, etc., and that would automatically be generated on the fly. So this is what I want to do. I want to have a hidden field that is going to be generated um, inside here as I, I go through the game. So how am I going to get the computer to create a hidden field? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Just like what we did before with the is set. So what I want to do is if you look up here, what we did uh, in my last video is to display the letters that have been guessed. What I did is I said if is set letter guessed, I would uh, say my variable called current guess is uh, get letter guessed and I would echo that that's what you guessed. I want to do the same thing with this hidden field. It's just like getting any other uh, object off the URL. So basically what I could do here, I could do the exact same thing and I could say if is set of get of let's say the, um, uh, we'll call it old letters guest. So if I get from the URL old letters guest, if that's set and I use the is set to check that, what I might want to do is create a variable called my old letters guest and it would equal the value of the current guess. Uh, uh, sorry, it would equal the value of uh, of the old letters guessed, and I would also join to it the value of the current guess, and I could do that or I could use the variable both would work just fine so my old letters now or I could call it all letters guessed maybe that's a better name for it all letters guessed are the old letters guessed and the dot the current letters guessed now my variable called old letters guessed uh, has been set and then I might echo you have guessed in total and this would be all letters guessed. Okay, so what I would do here, this is just an example. If there's something set in this, I would display this as well. And I'll just uh, put this in the same PHP block. So here's my uh, PHP block. So let's, uh, let me get rid of this part here for now. 
and just take a look at what it looks like. So how it looks, oh, actually that, I can't do that, sorry. So uh, that's one, one thing we could do, but how would I, um, so here's how I display all the letters guessed. Now what I really want to do is, um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing as saying if is set of the old letters guessed. I want to also uh, right here, I want to do the same thing. If it's set of the old letters guessed. So if I've set the old letters guessed, what I want to do is I want to display all the uh, in the input field, I want to display all the, uh, what did I call them? All the letters that have been guessed so far. So what I would do here is I would create that input. There's a hidden input and it's going to be in here and it's going to have all the letters guessed if there's something there. Now, if there was not something there, so maybe I didn't, there's nothing in old letters guessed. So in this input that I generated using PHP called, that's hidden, that is called old letters guessed, if it didn't exist, what I want to do is I just want to make a hidden field right here. And so I'm going to echo and create a hidden field called hidden. The name is called uh, old letters guest. And its value will be nothing. Now there's going to be one slight problem here. I uh, know there. Perfect. That should be great. So what I'm going to echo here now, one thing I want to show you is you'll notice normally when I do a form, I go, uh, or an input, this is what I originally did input name equals uh, hidden, uh, sorry, type equals hidden, name equals old letter guest and value equals nothing. Notice I normally use two quotation marks. However, because I'm using PHP and I need to output this in an echo statement as a string and to display a string in an echo statement, I would use the double quotation marks what I would need to do is I like to replace this with the single because what I can do if these are single quotes and I'm just going to get used to writing HTML with these as single quotes, what I could do in PHP, of course, is I can go echo and in quotations, echo that as an entire string in PHP and it'll output that. Okay. So let me just save this and let's test out what we have here. So when I go to hangman with nothing, uh, I made a mistake and I do that too often. Um, did I forget? What did I forget to put in? Probably a semicolon. All letters guessed equals get old letters and new letters. And yes, I forgot the semicolon. Let's refresh that. Semicolon there, all letters guessed equals get old letters guessed and get, oh, there's a bracket there. That's a problem sometimes when you. Unexpected else on 30. Uh, oh.
somehow I deleted that. Okay, so what we're gonna get here is guess the letter. Uh, I'm gonna guess the letter E, and it says you guess the letter E. And if I look at the source code, if I go view source, you're gonna see there's an input type which is hidden. Oh, I forgot the bracket there. Um, so I need to go back and fix that. So when I echo my hidden field, I didn't put a bracket. There you go. That's no good. So let's uh, restart the game. So I'll restart the game. So guess a letter. So here's all the letters. I'm gonna guess the letter E. It says you guess the letter E. And then when I, even though you don't see it, if I view the source, there's a hidden field that says input type is hit hidden the old letters are nothing so that's why it didn't display anything but now that I've done that it says you guess letter E and now when I add another letter O oh hidden field should have taken the old letters I'll need to fix that uh, but it's going to add the old letters because um, in here if is set get old letters um, guessed all letters oh I should join here all letters you know what I uh, probably don't even need to you know what I could do I don't even need to uh, check. I already checked above. So I can just echo my input field and put all letters guessed in here. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, Uh, okay, I just need to fix that up. But you get the idea. So, uh, and you should see the hangman now have uh, both 